Hello, Sprain. I want to make one last update. So, I'm back near the summit of 5868. So what I did is, instead of coming back up that way, that steep part, when I was going downhill, what I did is I came down from the peak over there, followed very faint traces of a fire brake slash use path or whatever you want to call it down to a saddle and up to here so probably if you're looking for a quicker quicker and more direct way probably the right way if you're, unless you're wandering around and stuff like I was doing just to go down this follow the semblances of a very faint at times not super evident use path then follow it up that ridge I went up where I saw those sugar pines when you see the sugar pines it means you're starting to get close you just have a couple little humps to surmount but now I'm back on the on the fire break here on peak 5868 as they call it on peak bagger like I said before 6,000 foot contour comes up here, so according to the map, so and Google Earth shows it at 5,980 something feet, so it may have just been a misprint. And yeah, peak 6,000 is actually like peak 6040, so time to head back to the car, but I'm glad I. I'm glad I went down the other way. Really glad I did. So I want to see that spectacular little canyon dip where all those deer's ears plants were growing. So this is officially my last clip. Just wanted to leave an update. I'm very close to Rosanita Saddle now. Should be back there in about four or five minutes of walking, if even that. It was very, very, very quick coming up here. And as the grade coming up this fire break is very gentle. It's not steep at all. But I can see the eastern shoulder of Mount Hillier is right near. Well, dips down to Rosanita Saddle. So this will probably be about it for me on this adventure. That's why in the last clip I said, unless something else interesting comes up, this will be my last clip. Just in case I have to save face and or whatever, and bust out another video. I mean, sometimes you find sometimes you find out things. So I did kind of like a lollipop loop, actually. Did a lollipop loop up this small summit, then down, then down into a, then completely cross country down into a little canyon, and then up to a little, up to a little ridge, and then. I was able to find the way to peak 6,000 6, or peak 6040. You hear me saying 6,000 and 6040? Say both of them at the both of them in the same sentence. I'm referring to the same peak. Well, it's another awesome day in the mountains. Had a really really good time. In case I haven't said it enough. And you probably heard me say this probably about 40 times during the duration of my video clips. It's beautiful up here. This is a great little, great little hike to escape the crowds. I mean, I was driving along Angeles Crest Highway coming up here, and it was packed. Packed. I mean, 
all, all turnouts and trailheads were completely packed and no social distancing. There was only one family that was going along this way, but it went down the main fire break down the ridge, probably off to some other little adventurous spot. But me, wanted to get up to that peak over there. It's kind of hidden behind the trees here. Despite the sun being kind of warm, sorry about the wind. I gotta admit, the weather was very pleasant today, so it's no complaining here. It's just the sun's a little hot when you go up the fire break. Because I did go up south facing slopes for the next chunk of the time. But it's totally worth it. That's looking back towards where I was earlier. That's actually it. Should be it right over there. Peak 6040, 60, 6, 6000, whatever you want to call it. It's an awesome little little spot. There's nobody over there, it's just me, the rented birds, I saw some hawks flying overhead. And just hanging out with the Jeffrey and Coulter pines. Oh yeah, and the occasional sugar pine and incense cedar and so forth. And big old Nuglas fir. Well I'll leave you with a couple parting shots. One of the neatest flowers that comes to mind makes you think of late spring. This guy right here. Erisimum capitatum, variety capitatum. A beautiful western wallflower. Beautiful native by, I believe it's a biennial in the mustard family, the Brassicaceae. The time I come up here, I always see them blooming and it's always such a cheerful sight because they are such a cheerful native wildflower. Well, you can see my Jeep over there, just about back. So, this really is the end of my uh, Rosanita saddle hike. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed very much filming the magic, magical landscape that is this area. I really did. This is why when I go hiking, I have to have a camera with me for taking pictures and recording it. Posterior, posteriority. It's just a magical place it is up here. And I'll see you on my next adventure. I don't know if I'm going to get anything else today, June 7th. But if I do, I'm going to make sure I find my find another memory card in my car before I start filming. Alright, see you on the next adventure. Thanks for watching.